Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to The Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at constructors in Java. The next episode we are going to move into encapsulation, which will sort of go pretty hand in hand, uh, so just make sure you watch this video and then you watch the video on Thursday, because uh, then you'll be able to better understand sort of what we're doing here. Uh, but basically a constructor, um, they're used in Java to initialize an object's state. Um, so they're kind of like methods, but they're a little bit different. Um, constructors use a collection of statements typically, um, and they're executed at the time the object is created. So I've already made a class called people. Um, you can name yours whatever you want. So how a constructor works is it must be the same name as the class, right? So what we have to do is we can just go ahead and say people, parentheses, curly brackets, and there we go. So now we have our people constructor, and it tells us here in IntelliJ that constructor people is never used. So let's go ahead and initialize this, right? So we have people, people equals new people. And now you can see here that it's not telling us that we need to do anything, that this works, right? Because in our constructor here, it's not requiring us to have any arguments. But say we wanted to go ahead and say we wanted their string name, the integer of their age, and let's just say that's all we wanted, right? Now you can see here that it's throwing us an error telling us that we need to put these values in. So if we put these in, so let's just say Deshaun and 22. Now the error is gone. Now what's gonna happen is whenever we run this, it's going to execute whatever is inside of here, right? So if we were to go ahead and say, oops, not system, sorry, system dot out the print line, and we were to say, name plus is plus age plus years old and for some reason this got pulled out of there so now when this is when we initialize our object here it's going to run this and in anything inside of this constructor here so if we go ahead and we play this or run this not play this run this you can see that they shot is 22 years old because it's taking our values from what we're putting here and we're putting and we're putting them there so if we change this to 21 you can see that it instantly changes over here we change this to Stuart and if we run this you can see here that it's changing over here as well so what this will be really good for is when we get into encapsulation when we are working with sort of these variables like private int age and private string name so we can sort of already do this here so what we can do is we could say um like this dot name equals name this dot age equals age and now it's going to set those values up here to the values that are here so we can change this to this dot name and this dot age and now if we run this again you can see that Stuart is 21 years old but if we were to obviously get rid of these and we were to run this again, you can see that it's saying null and zero. So you're gonna to need to know a little bit of this for the next episode here, which we're going to be going over encapsulation, which is also going to be using um, sort of these constructors. It's gonna be using hash maps, um, possibly even ArrayList, depending on how you wanna do it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So this, is a, this was a super, super short video. Um, there wasn't a lot that really needed to talk about. I just wanted to go over constructors how they work, um, so that way you guys can sort of know how to use them. So that's all I got for you guys, and if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe.